so excited to, to have everyone. And I'm going to kick it off to our, our head judge, uh, John McCarthy, my longtime friend. How you doing, man? What's up, Fred? Good to see you. Good to see everybody. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, best single barrel pick. All right, let's start with you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the uh, complexity of 22A. It just really, really hits my palate in the way I want to be hit right now. That's uh, A for you. Lou, you ready to roll? I, I'm also in on 22A. I, I got a really nice um, juicy fruit up front, and I just like that immediately. Um, kind of hot for 55%, but um, not killing me, and I would add water to it. So we're sticking with 22A? Yeah. Clay. I think... Thought the nose on both was was pretty good. I'd say they're about equal there, uh, but I agree with uh, the others on 22A's palette. Uh, I found even after I cheated a little and put some water into 22B just to see what happened, and it's still very astringent. Uh, whereas 22A I thought was pretty nicely balanced. It's kind of right where it should be for a uh, 110 proof. So I think that's a pretty clear vote for me. Beautiful. Fair enough. Thanks, man. Tiffany, what do you think? I'm on this bandwagon, y'all. It's delicious. Um, the fruit notes are just bright from the nose all the way to the end. I unfortunately don't really care for the nose on 22B. It just didn't allure me. The flavor is there. It's awesome, but um, A for the win. All right. We got a runaway here. So far. All right. We got the Vegas crew. I, I think uh, a, a was unanimous for the group. Felt that... Um, B actually extracted too much uh, wood wood resin wood notes um, wasn't as well balanced as A. Uh, a was just very very delicate, little high, uh, a, tasted a little hot for fifty five percent, but it was uh, very well balanced. Thank you for that. What about everybody in Louisville, Greg. Yep, I'm Fred. going with the bandwagon twenty two A. Fred, I have to agree with the bandwagon actually twenty two A. Uh, I think Lou said it first, and then the Vegas crew at 55. I thought it was still a little warm for 55, but it wasn't um, offensively uh, warm. And I thought the mid palette was wonderful into the finish. I thought it was really good. I didn't hate 22B, but I think with the 63.7 proof, it was a little warm, and I found the finish to be a little, uh, a little hot and dry. And then kind of that retro nasal thing while I'm sitting here talking, breathing, I can still like I can feel it in my chest a little bit. So. 22A it is for me. Lee, yeah, I know you well enough to know how you're voting. Oh, uh, so I moved on 22A. I actually 22 b is okay. It was a lot spicier than I prefer. Um, I'm getting a lot of that barrel char, but not in a way that I am typically drawn to. It's a little too peppery for me, even though I do enjoy the cherry. It's a little short-lived. Um, but I'm loving this balance of like leather, pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, all that on 22A. So I'm with y'all on that. And the texture and mouthfeel I prefer. That's A from you too, Susan? Yep, A from me as well. Jack? No, definitely 22A. Um, it's very bright. Um, at 55, I love the finish on 22A. Uh, tw I love cast strength whiskey, but I feel like 22B uh, finish was just, was just not it, uh, especially at 67. The spice nose word there, but the finish was just off. So 22A wins. Right on.